If you have ever had an interest in wanting to increase your psychic abilities, but you're not really sure where to start or what to do, then stay tuned for this episode because I'm going to share some easy and practical tips that you can start doing today so you can increase your intuition and unlock your psychic abilities. Welcome to the Fit Body Fit Spirit podcast. I'm your host, Ujo Wajet, and this podcast is about exploring self-awareness and personal transformation through the lens of proactive wellness, spirituality, intuitive health, and mysticism. There are several types of psychic abilities. There is clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, clairaudience, which is clear hearing. There is claircognizance, which is clear knowing. There's premonitions. There's all these different ways that you can utilize psychic ability. If you're not sure what your natural strength is, then I have one recommendation for you when it comes to getting started. And that is focusing on clairsentience. And that is all about clear feeling and really being able to sense your surroundings and your connection to self. And I'm going to explain the reason why in just a moment. You want to focus on one ability. So that is really key here. Whether you have an awareness of what your, what some of your abilities are, or if you have no idea where to start, my recommendation is starting with clairsentience, also known as that clear feeling, being able to sense things around you, utilizing that gut instinct. And I'm going to break down why I recommend this in the first place. First, clairsentience is the easiest to access. Why is that? It's because the simplest form of clairsentience is known as that gut instinct. We all have it. It is embedded as a primal instinct within our human form. And this is something that you can start to utilize and expand beyond just a gut instinct and really start to utilize practices to help you develop this even more. The second reason is you get immediate feedback. You have instant gratification for utilizing practices and being able to identify what things you are picking up on, what things you're connecting with and feeling and what things that you aren't. And this is a great way to build confidence, especially if you have no idea what your strengths are, or if you are struggling to establish trust in your intuition, then connecting to that clear inner feeling of clairsentience can really be beneficial here. The third reason why I recommend utilizing clairsentience as your starting point to develop your psychic abilities is because you build trust through taking action. And when it comes to this primal instinct that is already embedded within us, you can use this to your advantage. You can use this throughout the day. And don't worry, I'm going to share a couple of things that you can start doing to start practicing developing this intuitive ability. It's so easy to get stuck in wondering if you're doing something right or wanting to do more research and you just get stuck in the consuming all of the information and not taking the action and doing the thing. And when it comes to clairsentience, you have to do something to figure out if what you're feeling is accurate or if something is off. So it is a win-win situation. I've shared with you the three reasons why I highly recommend starting with clairsentience to develop your psychic abilities, especially if you have no idea where to start. Now I'm going to share with you two easy ways that you can start practicing clairsentience. The first practical exercise I want to share is identifying your yes and your no. In order to do this, you want to ask your body to reveal to you what yes feels like in your body. And you also want to ask your body to reveal to you what no feels like in your body. This will vary from person to person. Everybody is different. So everybody's yes and no are going to be different. So you can't really compare how your body responds to to somebody else's. So there's something to be mindful of. The best way to prepare for this practice is to become fully present in your body. You wanna draw all of your awareness throughout the entirety of your body. 
become very centered and grounded in your body. Once you feel grounded and fully aware and present in your body, then go ahead and ask your body to reveal to you what yes feels like in your body. How does your body respond to yes? When it comes to identifying your yes and no, this is not coming from the mind. This yes and no is all stemming from the intuition, that gut instinct, that inner sense of feeling and connection. So I want you to be mindful of that. You don't want to think about the yes or no. You want to feel the yes or no. So tune in to the feeling. Feelings can show up in different ways. They might show up in physical sensations. They might show up in feeling hot versus cold. You might feel light and expansive in your, in your yes. And anything that's a no might feel very heavy and kind of weighed down and constricting. Those are some examples of how yes or no can show up in your body. And the sky's the limit here. So I want you to practice this every day. The second way that you can practice identifying your yes and no is by using objects that you have in your home or just in your surroundings. So for example, if you are into crystals, you can grab two crystals and then you can pick up one crystal and connect with that crystal and ask your inner self, which one do I need most right now? You pick up one crystal, connect to that feeling, just pay attention to how your body is responding. You can prompt your body to respond and say, is this a yes? Show me if this is a yes. Those are two prompts that you can use. Is this a yes? Or show me if this is a yes. And then you can switch to the next crystal and see what that response is. Give your body an opportunity to show you that yes or no of which one you need most right now or what is your divine yes and your divine no. So those are a couple ways that you can practice clairsentience through identifying your yes or no. And then you can utilize this throughout your day. So earlier I mentioned one of the reasons why I suggest clairsentience is because it enforces immediate action. You take action right away. So you start to identify what is working for you, what is showing up for you, you get that immediate feedback. There have been times where I have used this technique in order to really get clear on a decision. Have you ever been offered an opportunity and your mind wants to say one thing and your body is saying a completely different thing? That is an example of your inner sense of feeling and that gut instinct giving you the signal of that yes or that no. So all you're doing is tuning into that, amplifying that, and you are refining that. Be mindful that as you practice, what you feel and like how you connect with your yes or no might adjust as you progress in your practice. And that is something that's normal because you are refining your connection. You're building more trust and confidence. So how it shows up in the beginning, it might change over time. And that's something that I've experienced. Sometimes you need more of a signal for your yes and no. And then as you become more confident, it starts to have more subtle ways of connecting to your yes or no. This doesn't happen for everybody, but it is something that I want you to be aware of. If you have multiple abilities that you want to strengthen, I want to encourage you that if you focus on one ability, it creates the foundation for you to strengthen other abilities over time. So think of this as a foundation. And this is if you are just getting started and you really don't know what your strength is. Are you ready to be responsible for the things that come along with developing these abilities? It's important to be clear with your intention and to start from a place of love and truth. Developing your psychic abilities and your intuition is a lifelong process. It's an ongoing journey. Your abilities grow and progress just as you do. It's important to find joy in the journey. I want you to think about experiences or situations where your gut instinct kicked in or where you had a very strong feeling about something not being right. 
that is your intuition. That is that inner feeling. That is your body responding to something not being right or to something going really well, to you just trusting that instinct. These practices are a starting point to help you develop that even further and will create that foundation for you to build upon even more of your psychic abilities and intuitive gifts. Question of the day. How often do you follow your gut instinct? Be sure to let me know. You can connect with me at Fit Body Fit Spirit on Instagram and on my YouTube channel at Uja Wajet. You can also connect with me on my website, ujawajet.com. I would love for you to share your experiences with any of the tips that I shared if you decide to give any of them a try. If you enjoyed this episode of Fit Body Fit Spirit, be sure to share it with a friend and I'll see you on the next one.